Hi, my name is Michael Schnexer with Time Off Moss Architects, here to try to give you a tour of the new Broad Creek South Anchor Branch Library under construction. So let's go on inside. So here we are at the front door of the building, just having passed through the vestibule. Immediately to our left, we'll have the book drop. From here, we'll see through the whole building. And underneath of that is the, the main information desk, so not very close, but super visible from the front door. Um, up above, we'll have what everybody's calling the hanging meeting room, uh, right there in front. There'll be openness to the second floor there, uh, audio visual in the back, and then over to here, over this side is the meeting room, so we'll walk that way first. Some support spaces, uh, pre-function space here for the meeting rooms over to the left here. Again, we have these big windows, this connection visual to the plaza outside. Inside here is the large community meeting room. Excuse me while I step through the window. The door's there. There are two sets of doors because this room is subdivisible with an operable partition. You can see the track right there. So it can be used as one large room or two smaller rooms. They're split 60-40, give or take, so that they're not exactly the same. If you have a certain size group, you might want to be in the slightly smaller room or the slightly larger room or then the overall room have some windows, some nice natural light, and uh, visibility to uh, the, the wetlands beyond. We'll head back to the lobby. Come back through, we'll progress through here. Over on the left are all the staff spaces that the rest of us will never see, uh, with the supervising librarian receiving, uh, sorting, those types of spaces. The coffee center for the, that's open to the public. Down to the right is all back of house mechanical spaces that are of no interest to anyone. As I was pointing out at the front door, underneath of this circular element is the circular circulation desk. It's got great visual control of both the front door and the back door, as well as the children's library and its entrance. We have our main stair that heads up to the second floor. Beyond where the brick wall will continue through is the audiovisual collection, and obviously two stories of glass and lots of natural light and openness. We'll go through the children's library, and then we'll come back and go upstairs. You can see straight through the connection to the elementary school. Uh, we have a pair of circular elements overhead. Over, underneath of the smaller one is the help desk for the children. Uh, the larger one is our skylight, if you will, that will have some clouds painted on the top and some lighting to make story time area underneath. As we're looking through, you can see where the plastic sheeting is will be open and glazed floor to ceiling to the outside space the children have and we can continue in. On the back wall, we have the kids zone, the playscape, and the art room. We're passing by the collaborative meeting room and the children's program room. And then in the back there are the staff spaces, family toilets. That niche right there is the, uh, the water fountains. So all of that is easy to find easily watched by the main desk here and close to the front door. So all of this will be open where the stacks and uh, soft seating and the computers along the walls of the lobby. This curved element here, floor to ceiling, butt glazed glass is where the art room is. The next one over is the uh, playscape and the last, the last there beyond the last curved portion is the kid zone. So. These are some of the more specialized spaces. The rest is open space, uh, mostly for stacks, but then for flexible use. And with that, we'll head back upstairs. This is the main stair, which is much closer to the front door. But this one is grand and well lit. As we get to the top here, a lot of natural light and a lot of openness and views, over top of which we'll be able to look down into the open space below. Up here in the lantern, we'll have uh, some small study tables, some uh, informal meeting space, not quite taking shape yet there. At the end will be that hanging meeting room that will be, I think, very sought after as far as a place to meet with, with your friends. In white out there right now is the roof patio. So if it weren't raining, I'd drag you out there. The view, particularly back to the entry plaza, is really nice. I can absolutely imagine sitting outside on a nice day waiting for your friends to arrive and, and being able to see them and wave to them and, and all of that. I think that's going to be a really great space. Turning our attention back to the rest of the second floor, we have one large open space, the nonfiction collection here to our left, the fiction collection 
over there to the right. We have a big sweeping arc that will have a nice cove light, give a greater sense of height than we actually have here. That smaller circular element underneath of that, again, is this main desk for upstairs. This partial wall here will be the periodical section. So that's up here front close to where we come upstairs and there'll be a living room-like seating arrangement in front of it to, to have a nice homey feeling for finding your magazine or your newspaper and, and taking a, a break here. The big room there to the left is the computer lab. That, much like the meeting room downstairs, is also subdivisable with an operable partition. Again, about 55, 45. On the right-hand side, it serves as a training room, and on the left-hand side, just a computer lab. But we think predominantly it'll be open uh, most of the time. As we move, Across the space, we have the collaborative meeting room that's upstairs. We have the copy center that's upstairs, the staff entry, the men's and women's restrooms, and then a pair of small group study rooms. The staff areas in the back have the staff lounge, some offices, some open workspace. It's where upstairs staff will do all of their work. As we proceed to the back, we still have lots of openness to the big lantern area. One of my other favorite spots in the library, I think, will be the, the built-in work counter that will be there uh, overlooking the front door. Again, I think another great place to get some work done, sit down, wait for your friends to show up, wave to them over the, the little knee wall there and say, hey, I'm, I'm right here. Let's go do math homework or whatever it is we're doing that day. Thanks for your time. Thanks for joining us on this tour of the Broad Creek South Anchor Branch Library. We look forward to seeing you here when it opens in 2018.